Hey guys, welcome to another video, Paint with Rick. We're going to do an oil painting today, a landscape. If you haven't got uh, your brushes yet, <clears throat> you should get a set of uh, fan brushes like this for oil painting. This is how we make our evergreen trees with uh, fan brushes, okay? Make sure they're for oil. And then I just get, uh, I do most of the painting with these chip brushes. You get these, at, you can get them in a whole pack like this at Michael's. And they come in uh, all different sizes. From, I think that's a half inch. You get a one inch, inch and a half. And then a uh, two inch. I'll use this one today for blending. There's a lot of blending in, uh, when I, you do this technique for landscapes. So let's get started. What I'm going to do, I'm going to I'll draw it out for you real quick. I always paint, uh, not always, but when the summer comes, I'm going to actually start bringing my easel out to the park and we'll do a painting live uh, out in nature, but here in the studio in my bedroom <laughs> I uh, just paint from my mind so what I see today I want the landscape to be kind of low today I don't want to deal with so much uh, groundwork so I want to cut it low today somewhere in here but I'm seeing some kind of land here and then uh, there's some kind of water right here with some weird thing going on here. And then we'll have uh, some cool mountains back here. Not too high into the sky. I'm just laying this out so I know how much to put into my sky. So let's get going. I'm going to use a chip brush to lay in the sky. If you haven't painted with me before, I just this is linseed oil. this is not the Bob Ross technique so you got to have linseed oil I just keep my brush saturated with linseed oil that's all you got to do uh, it's, it's not that hard and then I I have my paints already kind of flattened out on the palette and then if I want to start with blue I just dip it in there just a little grab some blue okay let's get going so that's how I get the paint on the brush. And then we're going to kind of fill the sky up with different colors today. That's uh, blue. I already mixed that blue with a little bit of white. This is Payne's Gray. And I already mixed it with a little white. Because if you put it, if you put the color right out of the tube, it's going to look like that. It's really dark. So you gotta, you can either mix it down or you can mix it on the canvas by putting white in it. So for right now, I'm just getting, this is how we lay out the sky. I want a bunch of different colors in there today. And uh, then we'll worry about this once we get the sky done. So we're just I want to lay down my color in the sky using a chip brush okay very easy you, anybody can do this this is 16 by 20 I got it locked into my easel so you can press on it and stuff okay so it doesn't move sometimes it moves but just like that okay uh, I want to add some of this blue. I kind of like that. I accidentally just threw that up there to show you. So I'm going to lay some more in here. Get it to mix in. Maybe some darker paint gray too. You're going to love the way I do my clouds. So let's just get the sky done here real quick. And then I'll put some clouds up in here. 
so right here usually the the sky gets lighter as it comes down to the horizon we've already marked our horizon in here so what i'm going to do is grab some of this color and with the the same brush i'm not even going to wipe it off and dip into a little linseed oil and get some titanium white on it just a little white i'm going to grab some of that blue up here and pull it down to my horizon here the reason i'm using the linseed oil if you're new to uh oil painting you, like if it's a dry canvas like this if you just if you grab your color see it, it doesn't move on there you got to have something underneath the or you got to have an agent help you get the oil to move around so that's what the linseed oil is for but if you already got paint up here then you you don't have to dip it in the linseed oil as much so so I'm laying down some white here because we want our horizon lighter down here. Okay. All right, so now what we're going to do, I, I just wipe the brush off with a rag and I can reuse it later. So let's take a new chip brush now and we're going to designate this one for the painting as we're going to call it the blender brush okay so now let's come up in here and what you're going to do is blend all this stuff together doesn't have to be perfect right now because we're going to do a lot of blending when i put the clouds in there this just helps it knock down the paint gets it ready for our clouds so all right, so there's our blender brush. I'm going to set it here with our clouds. Let's use a one inch brush and we're going to put titanium white on it. So if you're new to the channel, uh, dip your brush in a little linseed oil. Just get it wet like that. Let me get my palette here. Uh, it's hard to see. Where, oh, there's my white. Just that, uh, and then just kind of get some white oil paint on your brush, just like that. We're gonna design the top. This, the top part of our clouds is what we're gonna do. Our mountain's gonna be in here. Not a tall mountain today, so I'm gonna start some clouds here. We're gonna just push in what would be the top of a cloud. Okay. Just the top part of it. This is an easy way to make clouds. Get some more paint. Let's run some clouds the same way over to the other side. Kind of up at an angle. This is the top part of the cloud, okay? Let's get some more linseed oil, some more titanium white. Let's do our cloud up on top now. We want this one to be bigger. So I'm going to punch in a cloud that kind of goes maybe across the whole painting, okay, all the way to the other side. Just like that. Get some more white. Let's run one coming down in here. Just like that. That's good enough to start. Now take a rag and just wipe the brush off. And it's ready, ready to go. We're going to come in here and pull the some of this white down into the color underneath. We want it to mix with the color underneath. So just pull a little bit of it down. Not the top. Don't go up to the top of the cloud. We want to keep the top of the cloud uh the way it is so you're just pulling half of the cloud down you could shape it if you want this one bigger just pull more of it down if you want this one to go behind that one just pull it down more all right that's good enough 
Let me see how that looks in the frame. It already looks like clouds, but guess what? The magic happens when you blend it. So get your blending brush that we designated as a blender brush. And you're going to try and blend just the lower portion of that cloud. You hear that? Leave some of this blue in here. It looks cool. Don't blend it too much. Just get enough uh, brush on it to uh, soften it up a bit. Don't hit the top yet. We're going to do something with the tops here in a second. We're just worried about the part you pull down. Just lightly blend it. See how it leaves some of the value in there? You don't want to over blend it. We want to get different colors going into our cloud here, okay? This big one, just the bottom part, blend it. Wow, these clouds look awesome. I kind of like that dark blue I put in there at the end. It worked out pretty good. Look at that sky. Wow. We're going to have a cool mountain down here. Now with your brush, uh, the very top of the cloud, you see how I hit it a little bit here? Just come in here very lightly and push. Push the top of the cloud and I get reestablished the top of the cloud very lightly just to make it look like a finished edge, okay? Very lightly, just push the top of the cloud. Just like that. If you don't, if you don't have to do it, where, if you didn't hit it anywhere, you don't have to do this. This is just because uh, I accidentally hit it while I was blending. So you want to come in here and make sure your cloud has a nice finished edge on the top so and keep wiping your brush off i didn't mention that when you're blending when you're blending like this occasionally wipe your brush off so you're not adding more white to the the painting that you don't want okay man that looks really good i like that now this corner i never finished it but i'm just gonna leave it like that just blend it in I'll keep that corner light. It'll look like clouds back there. So here too. So another thing, I don't care if this video is long, but like if you want, you can actually keep pulling these clouds if you want to reshape them. If you want them to look longer, you can keep working them, but make sure you after you pull it, blend it again. Okay. Very good. Easy way to make clouds. I know if you've done the Bob Ross clouds, they're kind of difficult. But this technique, you'll get it the first time.